Hello everyone, I am Bhubhubrata Das and I have secured All India Rank of 13 in the Social Science stream of ICR JRF Entrance Examination held this year. A little about myself, I am from Bhubaneswar, Odisha and I have passed my graduation from Polish Shikshabhavan Institute of Agriculture, Vishwabharti Santi Nigeta. So as we all know that NTA has been conducting the annual entrance examination of ICR for the last three years and in the last two years the pattern of question that's been coming in the exam has changed drastically. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you my experience on how I prepared for this examination and the mistakes that I committed avoiding which might help you fetch a better mark and a better rank in the coming year. So the first and foremost thing is to choose the right subject. Now I opted out for social science because I realized that studying social science could give me situations to deal with which are way more related to human lives compared to other subjects with natural science backgrounds, say plant science or soil science. Now this is my reason. So as per your interest and your preference, choose the subject, choose it rightly, choose it wisely and most importantly, choose it timely. It's better if you could choose the right subject within fourth semester. I started my preparation from fifth semester. As you all know that agricultural extension and agricultural economics form the core of agricultural social science. Along with that, we also have to study a certain portion of agricultural statistics. So I started my preparation by studying communication portion of extension, for which I followed the book of Agricultural Communication Process and Method by A. S. Sandhu. This is a very lucid and descriptive book which will suffice the need for GRF exam. Then for the core in extension subjects, I followed two books. From Extension Communication and Management by GL Roy, GL Roy, I studied Extension, the Introduction Chapter, Rural Sociology and Educational Psychology, Diffusion and Adoption, and Program Planning. I believe for certain chapters like Training and Management, Entrepreneurship, Rural Development, various schemes of Indian Government, Transfer of Technology, things like this, I believe that the book written by Sagar Mondal, which is Fundamentals of Agricultural Extension Education, is a better alternative to the books written by GL Roy. Then after completion of all these things, I went through the Instant Extension Education written by Shruti Mia. This book is a must for every social science aspirant. You have to go through it thoroughly until and unless you remember most of this portion by heart. For, for economics, I studied the book of Agriculture Economics by Subaradi, from which I studied microeconomics, macroeconomics, agriculture, finance and marketing. And for production and farm management, I solely relied upon the book uh, written by Viti Raju, which is meant for that units especially. Then uh, after all these things were completed, I started the, the book, I started the reading the book An Introduction to Agriculture Social Science by Subhash Chandra. This book encapsulates every chapter and topic a social science aspirants would need to revise. And in this chapter, you would also find the amount of statistics which is needed for our exam. This book has got units on uh, international economics, welfare economics and developmental economics for which you want, you would not have to go to anywhere else. I would, suggest, I would strongly suggest you to do your macroeconomic lessons from this book because the amount of macroeconomics given in Subaradi is just not enough for the JRF exam. So I would suggest you to do to study those chapters from Subaradi. And while doing all these things, you should be giving half an hour to one hour time daily to general agriculture. In this way, you, you, it would not be consuming a huge chunk of your time, yet your job will be done by the time the exam comes. I would suggest you to do it with a partner uh, because sometimes studying GA alone can be very very boring and monotonous but with a partner it becomes less difficult. I with my friend Saikar discussed GA throughout, that, uh, throughout, third and, throughout third and fourth years and it was really helpful. Now three semester will be enough to finish all your syllabus. Once, you're, you, once you are done with your syllabus you need to do the MCQs. For uh, agricultural economics, you need to do the books by written by K. Nirmal Ravi Kumar. In this book, there are around six to eight thousand questions. However, if you could do around fifty percent of the question, it would be enough. For social, for agriculture extension, you need to do the book written by Sunil Viji. This book is not only meant for JRF students but also for SRF and PhD students. So sometimes you would be facing questions which are way beyond our caliber. So try to remember these things from core topics. But if these are from topics like training and management, uh, do not need to, you do not need to panic. It's okay. These are questions for PhD level. And for general agriculture, you can do MCQs from SR Kantua. 
Now, current affair forms an important component of agricultural social science questions. To answer such questions, you need to be regularly updated with the scenario developing around the world and at country level regarding the field of agriculture. Like the recently the farm laws which have been repealed or if any new person has been appointed as head of any body. And I will give you an example how they have been questioned nowadays which are also related to the subjects we have read in our core part also and also related to current situation. In 2021 JRF they asked a question that who, what is the what is the counterpart of an India di Indian district in the USA. Now I knew the answer because I had followed the US 2020 election so I knew that county is the county would be the right answer but it's also related to our core portion because we have studied about the county commission of 1862 in the instant extension education. So always heads up for such questions. The last but not the least, a join mock test series and give as many as you can. I am glad that I joined the mock test series conducted by Vishal sir and Tushar sir. They conducted such mock test series free of cost and cleared the doubt whenever any arose. And uh, if you join such mock test, mock test series, then you will find yourself with uh, aspirants all across the nation. So in that pool of students, you will be getting to know that where you actually stand in that competition and that will boost your performance. So that's all I had to say. I hope following these steps would be really helpful to you. Study religiously, keep patience and keep your nerves during the exam. It's really important. Uh, following these steps will be definitely bring good, good result to you. Thank you.